I'm here to show you how to slightly blur a background, give the foreground a little bit more impact. Not the greatest photo, but this is a good example here. I've seen this with people where we have portraits and you've got a distracting background. First thing I want to do is just duplicate this background a couple of times. I could right click and say duplicate layer or command click or do a control J, command J. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to leave the original layer here, okay? Uh, I'm going to show off the top layer. I want the bottom layer to show up. You got that little eye there. I'm working with Elements 13. This will work with some of the later versions. I don't know how far back it goes because we're going to do a few adv advanced things here. I'm working on the Expert tab. They've got the guide and the quick. They're not going to do this thing here. This is very easy. So I've shut off the top layer here. I want to blur this. I click on Filter. I go to um, Blur. I go to Gaussian Blur. It shows a number there. You could have it that way if you want. You can make it very slight if you want. But let's go kind of like this. You want it to look natural, okay? A lot of people go too much, and you could tell it has been Photoshopped, okay? So let's say we'll pretend that this is a good number here. And I could actually literally type in 25. And then I say, okay. Now I'm going to click on the top layer here. I'm going to select it. And I'm on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create an adjustment layer where I can literally erase what's in back here. So I'm in here. I click on this little round circle here. Add layer mask. You get this little white thing here. You click inside the white thing here. Let me just shrink this down. And then I want the brush. I get the letter B. It's showing there. Make sure you're on this brush here. They got the brush tool here. You got all these other ones here. And you've got this thing here where if I click in here and if I click inside here, it erases. If it's too big, you could hit the left bracket and make it smaller. Or you could go over here too. You can see it changing there. So I'm going to make it really big just to get this. I'm doing this quickly in something. I'm going to show you a few things here. Uh, so I'm doing this here. This is non-invasive, okay? And if I go over here, and ooh, let's say I accidentally went into this top here. It's blurry. I don't want that. I'm going to enlarge this a bit. I did a control plus. And I want to get this back here. I click inside here, reverse it, shrink it down, left bracket. And then I go into here, it brings it back even sharper, okay? So that way if you miss something, you can go back and forth, okay? Works pretty good. It works great, actually. And then I can go over here. And if I want to see what I'm doing really good, I just shut off all these back layers here. And then I could go into here. I could see how it did it. I also have... The opacity at 100%. And I can just go into here, pull this in, pull it in. I'm not going to do a perfect job at this point. But I want to go in here and I want to erase this other crudder Rooney here. Oops. I undo. I could just go over here. Fix this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. Uh, I will go over here. And then make it bigger, the brush again. I just want to show a couple of really fast things here. So I go over there, and let's say it's reasonably good here. Uh, it takes time to do this, okay? Now, if I put, turn, turn on that back layer, I've got that there. Let's say I want to make this front layer stand out a little bit more. I could do a Control u Command u or Control l I should say. I want to make this darker. You're not seeing a lot there, okay? There is a little bit where it's getting a little bit more punch there. Um, you can see it very, very slightly, okay? I could go down here. Not doing a lot, but it's showing a few things there. So we've got that. I could do a few other things here. I'm just going to show you a couple of fun things here. I'm not saying you'd want to do them here, but watch this. I go into filter, 
and then I could go into something like sketch and then I could choose different things here like chalk and charcoal I don't think it works on this oh there it comes up so if I go into here it's turning the background into something not the actual layer itself photocopy if I say okay it's not doing anything at this point uh, if I wanted to pull this up here and turn it into it I'd have to literally highlight this layer or simplify it I could right click inside here I could say simplify layer I'm just going to sh shut these off here uh, oops and now it's simplified here it's not showing it's showing everything here but if I go into the filter and then I go into sketch let's go into comic goes into different things here let's say I like that I say okay takes a moment to do this let's see how this works you just experiment if you have a messed up file just close out of it without saving it and start over again it's really interesting what you can get with your photos typically this takes a lot less time to do we'll see what happens probably because we're working with something that was a little bit complicated it actually worked so you could create something a little bit psychedelic if you want good luck